Hi, welcome back to my channel. This video is part one of my viewers' requests for tumbling tower block DIYs. And the first one is a calendar that 713 Eye Candy had mentioned in one of the comments. So I went out to Dollar Tree and I found this calendar. And I'm just taking these little hooks off. And I thought they were just screwed in, but they're also glued in. <laughs> So the last one broke, but I just glued it back on with Gorilla Glue at the very end. And I'm just going over the letters with a green sharpie. Because the only colour calendars I've seen in the shop were this one, a pink one, and a purple one. This is one of the peel and stick wallpapers from Dollar Tree. And all I'll do is put it on the back of the wallpaper where, with a piece of pattern that I want to show in the front. And then I trace around it with the sharpie. And... Uh, then I just cut it out with some scissors and then all you do is you peel off the bag, it's just a sticker and then I stuck it on the front of the calendar and then I made two rows of tower blocks I glued them both together already and they have five tower blocks in them each and those are for the sides and this is me just putting the blocks together for I'm choosing the greens. <laughs> so I put one flat, one on its side, next one flat, next one on its side. And you need to make two of these and I glued it off camera. And then for the side pieces, I stack two tower blocks on top of each other. And I make sure that it's on the inside edge. And I do this for both pieces. And then once the glue is dry, I stand it up and then add another two tower blocks like this on the bottom and then you end up with four pieces and I'm going to stain it with the Waverly Antique Wax off camera and then you line up the calendar with the three tower blocks in the middle and then for the top piece to glue on just make sure that you center it so there is a equal space at either end And then for the bottom, just do the same. And I already cut out two pieces of foam board to cover up this hole. And I'm just going to hot glue them on. Then I just replace the tags. And then I fill it with some Spanish moss. This one's from Walmart because I couldn't find any at Dollar Tree. And then I just fill it with some succulents. And this is it finished. Now you can always have it just standing on its own. I, I decided to keep the twine hanger and hang it up. But I think it turned out beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. So this next DIY was requested by Donna King and she asked for a D and a W. So here is the W and the D will be in part 2 of this video. So I made 30 of these squares with the three tower blocks joined together and then I glued them in rows of 5 and I made 6 of them. And you can have the blocks go in in any direction you want. This is how I decided to do the middle of the W and then I glued the tower blocks along the bottom edge to make the bottom of the planter. And you could have this as an M and you would just put the tower blocks on the other side of where I'm gluing them just now. I tried all different ways to make this with the, the sides of the W um, sloping out like a proper W. But without cutting the blocks, this was the only way I could do it. And now I'm gluing on the other side of the W.
and then I just fill in the, the blocks for the other side and some of them will be a bit too big because none of them are the same size so just make sure they're going to fit and if it's a tight squeeze then just push them in Well here I'm showing you if you wanted to make it an M. <laughs> so at the bottom of the W I'm just gonna put some block glue some block <laughs> I'm gonna glue some blocks in the bottom and you could just carry on putting the blocks like you did on the sides but I wanted the top to look the same the top and the bottom to look the same so I chose to do it this way but I might go back in Put the extra blocks on. That's up to you what you want to do. And then I just glued tower blocks along the inside edge. No surprise, I filmed it with reindeer moss and succulents. And in the next clip, I'm going to show you my boyfriend's W he wanted to make. He had lots of fun making it, even though he won't admit it. And he says, please don't craft shame him. And here it is. Uh, I told him he should dress up a bit more, but he said that this is for the men. <laughs> so here's his W. So he wants to know what you think, so let me know in the comments. I made four of these, they have 15 blocks in them each, and you can choose whichever direction you want the blocks to go in. I'm just going to glue them together in a square. And I'm making sure the blocks that are um, all going along sideways are the ones that are going to be on the outside, if that makes sense. This one, this. So you can see the end of the tower blocks on the front and the back of the K. And my friend Karen asked me to make a K for her, so that's what I did. And just make sure you put plenty of the glue on. So I set the rest of the key out like this and then I'm just placing the tumbling blocks like I did for the W in position like this and I do this along the bottom edge of this part and then the bottom edge of the top part and then I glue it on off camera. And then this is what it looks like, just looks like steps. And then I just fill in on the other side the tower blocks, just like on the front. Well, this would be the front actually. And I just here I just join three pieces together to put on that middle part that's going to join just for extra support and make sure you put plenty of glue and then just join it in the middle I used some Minwax stain in the shade Jacobean and I think it turned out beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously I filled it with some Dollar Tree succulents but you could put anything you wanted in it. I made two L shapes with blocks and then I made 
uh, another row of the 15 blocks for the back and I just glued them all together and I know L is the probably the easiest layer to make and then on the other side I just start gluing the blocks So then it looks like this, and the bottom is open, so I just glue together three blocks in a row and then I glue it in the bottom. And then you could put a piece of foam board in here if you want, or you could just glue the blocks all along the bottom on the outside if you wanted to. Off camera I painted it with some white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just distressing it a wee bit with some Dollar Tree sandpaper. And then these flowers are also from Dollar Tree so I'm just going to cut off the wee stem on the back and then I'm going to hot glue them in place. And then I just hot glue some of the leaves in place. And I just want to do something different with this one because I don't want to just use the brown stain all the time and show you different things you can do. So you can paint them any colour you like, you could glue anything to them, you could decoupage them, you could even make the tree bigger and then make like little fairy gardens or yeah there's just loads of things that you could do with these so I had these wee butterflies for ages from Dollar Tree and I didn't want blue so I decided to paint them I'm just pushing back the metal part so I can paint the fabric and I have these colours and they are ivory um, I'm reading them off the, the bottles ba Valley Slipper, Maze and Pink Diva so I just use them to paint the butterflies so I used ivory on this one and then I'm just going to put Paint. Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to paint on some of the maize colour. And then once that's dry, I just take some alcohol on a Q-tip and I rub off where those little um, rhinestones are. I think this turned out really pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I do have part 2 coming soon with some other letters. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.